Thank you so much for coming to our lightning talk. The topic is high school cybersecurity. We want to talk to you a little bit about a scholarly work that is a set of guidelines on what we think you should put into a high school cybersecurity course. And then we will share with you course content to do exactly that, build a high school cybersecurity course. I'm Melissa Dark. My colleagues are Mark Lepker from the National Cryptologic Museum Foundation, a partner in this endeavor. And then Shannon Beck, also on this lightning talk with me today. And two other partners not here, Rachel Dark and Jenny Doherty. Mark? Now you might be asking, why would we want to teach cybersecurity in high school? You know, there's over 500,000 jobs open right now on cyberseek.org that we can't fill. We need to begin to fill those slots. And so we have to start in the high school level to build that pipeline into either the workforce jobs or into post-secondary education for the advanced degrees. It touches every part of our life and every aspect of what a student has with their family or the larger society. And so we need to begin to address those fundamentals in order to inform them and to help keep them safe. That education needs to start at this level. Next slide. So we are very proud to partner the National Cryptologic Museum Foundation with Dark Enterprises and Teach Cyber to develop the guidelines to help develop these in-classroom materials. These guidelines talk about the eight big ideas that we feel need to be the foundation of teaching in the high school level. And Shannon is going to share with you those lessons. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. So we've got this curriculum guidelines that were developed and we have courseware based on those guidelines. The courseware is based for a full school year, but it's adaptable for a trimester or semester if you need to shorten it. The units are modular. We can see the listing of the titles for each of those units on the right hand side. And each unit does include an overview, an assessment guide. There are lessons that are broken down day by day for the teacher that includes slides, hands-on student activities and laboratories, and answer keys for the activities and exercises to help with assessment, and then resources and references for every lesson and activity. This courseware is currently undergoing pilot testing for the school year 2020-21, and then it's also a year-long format as well as a semester-long format across the U.S. So you can see our teachers are in multiple states across the U.S. listed on the right, and we have coordinated um, with other states to pilot both the guidelines as well as the Teach Cyber courseware. And we're interested into growing into other states and growing with new partners. So be sure to, to connect with us in our last slide, we'll have our emails. You're interested, you're here, thank you. Now what? Please visit teachcyber.org. When you're there, you can register for a free account and that account will actually let you download the courseware. And again, we mentioned that this uses real life current examples and a really hands-on approach that student-centered lessons. It's available at no cost and can be adapted, as I mentioned, shortened if needed or augmented. And then sign up for our mailing list. There's an example on the right here of our Teach Cyber Byte. These come out once a month. There's also other information that will be announced uh, as we produce new versions and uh, Part of the, the growing forum is the community of practice. So there's going to be a forum that's coming out soon. And then we also want to explore with you some professional development and educational outreach activities. So be sure to sign up for that mailing list. So again, thank you for your interest and your time. And if you would like to reach out to Melissa Dark, myself, Shannon Beck, or Mark Lepker, here are our email addresses. So thank you very much.